Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to obtain all requested item variable values into the description field. I have created a catalog item with pretty much all the standard fields used in a typical form. I pre-populated each field with a value and I'm going to hit order now. I have now opened the requested item created and as you can see in the description field we have all the distinct variable names and their own value for each of them. As well I have created a workflow for this particular catalog item and this particular workflow creates a simple service catalog task. Also I have included within the workflow when this particular catalog task is created. On the script part, I have also used the code in order to populate the description with all the variables, names, and their values. As you can see, within the workflow on the catalog task creation, in the advanced script, I have used the scripting club that I created with the function to get the variables to the description and just passing the current, which is the requested item, as a parameter. Now, if we take a look into the code of this script include, we can see it's a very small function, which actually is querying a table where all the variables are stored for that given requested item. And then we're just extra extracting the question, the variable, the label, and the value. And this particular form accepts, of course, the rhythm, the requested item, glide record, but also has a second parameter for function, which I'm going to explain uh, a little later. But as, as of now, uh, what you can see that it is actually getting the label and the value, basically, and then it is joining all these arrayed elements into the description or returning this into the description. I have here one example of how we can run this in the back end with any existing requested item and see what's the output. So now I'm going to proceed to paste the, the sys idea of the rhythm that I just created and then I will hit on run script again to see the output. So I have two samples of output here. One, as you can see in the first part of the code, I'm calling this um, script include creating that instance of the SCUtil. And then I'm just calling the get var to desk with the rhythm, the requested item. And then on a second line after, I'm calling the same function, but this time Apart from the rhythm, I'm passing a function called process. This function called process is going to receive the question, the variable, the label, the value, and the glide record of the rhythm as well. Here, we can override the way we want to display the values for a given field. For example, here, on the, when, when the field is a reference, that's why we have the question type as a reference. Then what I'm doing is to go and get the sysid of that particular user store in that variable that I want. And, and this in particular is for any reference variable that I have in this particular catalog item. So here I can play with more code and more conditions so that I can display the email ID of that given user when I have a reference. Here in advance, I know that the only reference field I have is for the sys user table. And as you can see on the second part of the output, what I'm actually getting is on the reference field, I'm getting the name of the user, but also the email ID. So this is a simple way to override the process function of this get variable to description function from the script include.
And this is how easy you can get all the requested item variable values into the description of the field or any field you want within the rhythm or in the service catalog task. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.